Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. This is... Okay. I've, uh, I've known uh, Liberace for, since the early 50s, when he started out here locally in California. I was at KNXC that time, and from the very first time he appeared on television, he was a, he was a big hit, and it's been that way ever since then. Uh, he's got a new uh, video out, entitled Liberace Live, and Lee is going to be at the Premier Center in Sterling Heights, Michigan, beginning March the 8th, and he opens at Sealish Palace in Las Vegas on the 26th of March. Would you welcome Liberace?
Come on over. Come on over. Good to see you again. Thank you, Johnny. I was watching the screen there, White Brooklyn. Is your head glittering? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. And I'm... Well, when I saw the set, I said, I'm going to go all the way. Well, you want the whole? Yeah. I thought That's you a had pretty a... set. I thought thing. you had a radioactive dandruff or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you this uh, started out as a gag at Radio yeah. City yeah. Music Hall. <laughs> Somebody said, you know, you sparkle so on the stage. So you? Uh, try this. And you did. I tried it. Everybody liked it, so... Of course, I have to wash it out every I, I day. I hope so. <laughs> okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Okay. There we are. <laughs> anyway. Question before we start. Walked into wardrobe today. You had your this jacket, your outfit hanging. And, and Sharon, our wardrobe gal, says, I want you to... And I, I lifted this jacket. Now, this jacket has to weigh, I'm guessing, 25, 30 pounds. Yes, I think a, about a, that. A, yes. At least... It's one of the lighter ones. No. <laughs> and you have the rings as part of your image now. How are you able, because I've seen your show and you're out there for two hours in concert. How do you manage to play with this? Is, this is, you've got to have five pounds of weight on each arm. How do you manage to well, do that? Well, you know, actually, uh, that little bit of restriction yeah. with the weight of the costumes and the rings and all that, it makes it easier for me to play. It, it does. It really why? does, because I was trained as a student to... Uh, play with uh, lead weights on my fingers. And then when the teacher removed the lead weights, my fingers just flew, you know, because I didn't have that restriction. Well, it's like runners who strap the weights yes. to the legs. Yes, the very take same them principle. Yeah. Yes, actually. I uh -huh. never thought of that. So instead of lead weights, you decided to go, lead weights in your hands while you're playing is not attractive. This no. Is was <laughs> <laughs> you were, somebody told me that uh, between the hours, I think, of noon and something like three, if somebody calls you, you're, you're not in. You're, Oh, I'm a soap. You opera watch the fan. soaps? Yeah, I watch the soaps. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right. <laughs> I don't get a chance to see them talk. Well, what's happening? Are they? Well, everything I'm, happens in soaps, I want to tell you. Well, it, like in Las Vegas, my housekeeper watches her favorite ones, yeah. and then I watch my favorite ones, and then we compare, compare notes. She what's tells me what happened to hers, and I tell her what happened to mine. But you know, the word got out that I love to watch the soaps because when I'm on the road, that's about the only time of the yeah. day that I have to myself. So right. I got hooked on uh, Days of Our Lives and uh, <laughs> Another World and uh, Santa Barbara. And you know what they do? I think the L.A. Times, I guess papers all over the country do it. At the end of the week, they actually print a synopsis of what's happened that week in case people haven't seen it. Well, that's, back page. that's marvelous. I, I have got to meet some of these people. Yeah. And one of my best friends is Linda Dano on Another World. Right. She's Felicia Gallant, you know. Right. And I was in New York, and I happened to be doing a little shopping, and I ran into her, and she gave me this big hello, like we'd been friends all our lives, because right. she had heard that I watched the show. And I felt I knew her, too, and we became very, very good friends. That's interesting. And uh, they invited me to, to do uh, a few episodes on Another World, and I'm going to... Uh, in February, I'm going to attend... That's becoming the thing. Elizabeth I'm Taylor attend did one? Linda yeah. Dano's wedding. She's going to be married in February. Are you going to play at the wedding? Uh, I hope so, yes. And it's really kind of fun because you, you know these people as characters in the, right. in the play, and then you meet them personally, and uh, it's fascinating. I'm very taken with them. Yeah. I really like... You're writing another book, but not a book so much about your career, as you said... What's it called? The the personal. It's called the wonderful private world yeah. of Liberace. It's my fourth book, and uh, uh, this is about how I spend my private time and right. what I what my hobbies are and what my philosophies are and so forth, and a lot of amusing incidents that have happened to me right. that don't happen when I'm performing. Right. You know, and. Uh, that's what I tell all about in this book. Yeah, you don't take shots at anybody. A lot of people who write books now come out and they kind of zing people. The only one I take shot at is myself. Really? Yeah, because I think people uh, seem to respect the fact that uh, if you admit you've made some mistakes, yeah. done something wrong, and can talk about it yeah. with a chuckle. If you could change anything about yourself, you ever get one of those questions that's 
profiles, what would you change if you could? Well, actually, uh, the only thing I would change would be my age. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be 20 years younger so I could do more of the same, really. Yeah. Does you getting know, older bother you, really? Well, it only makes me realize, getting older makes me realize that the time is, isn't as plentiful as it mm. once was. And I, I sometimes get a little obsessed with this because I figure that every day has to be eventful. Yeah. You know, years ago, I didn't care if I wasted a day or two. But now every day has to amount to something or I'm disappointed. Yeah, you know? that happens as people get older. And the older you get, the more conscious, I guess, yeah. that you become of that. But I, I wouldn't change a thing. I've had a wonderful life, and I've been blessed with over 40 years of my You've career. You've been performing for over 40 years, haven't you? Over That's 40 remarkable. years. 42 years this year. Uh -huh. Well, it's been a remarkable career, and I hope it goes on for a long time Thank for you. Thank you, Johnny. We're going to take a break. Okay. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We have George Miller. We're on our set. Lee, you are headed for, mention the premiere... Theater in Detroit. In Detroit. And then Vegas. And then Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Thank you very much for being with Thank us. Thank you, Johnny. Always fun. Tomorrow nice night, we you. have... Uh, George Carl, Brian Dennehy, and from the opera, Martina Arroyo. See you then. Good night. <laughs>